You're right. I don't think you can incentivize marriage. I thought I I think we pretty much know the benefits of marriage. If I, I shouldn't have to come in and convince you of all the benefits of marriage. So I think we know the benefits, you know what I mean? But the problem is, is like, and, and I guess that's why I said it wrong. We have to we have to no longer incentivize divorce, is where I guess I wanted to. Because that's really what's the tipping scale. It's not the incentive for marriage that's the tip. It's the incentive. Of, it's incentivizing divorce. It's telling people, hey, look, it's okay. You can. I just watched a lady the other day, right? And she talked about how she talked about how oh, there's no harm in divorce. You know, you'll survive. There's it's, there's no death in divorce. And it made me sit there and I and I just kept asking. I'm like, when have you ever spoke to a man? On that topic, because you have to only be talking to women if you say there's no death in divorce. With how many men we've seen delete themselves after a divorce because of the problems that come along with it? How do you? When have you talked to a man? Because a man will tell you a divorce can ruin our lives. But for women, it's just as easy as apple pie to walk away. You know, they a lot of times they do walk off feeling better than they did while they were in that marriage a lot of times they do feel empowered so when you have that dynamic and then there's on on the other end there's a dynamic where you think that we're okay with divorce as well you continue to push this ideology that hey it's okay for y'all walk away from these marriages so yeah and then um but yeah you um shannon you absolutely right about them uh having options but and i guess that's what i was alluding to when i said i was saying that no i don't think they really have those options because had they actually had those options in real life you wouldn't see a bunch of these people because life shows us that they don't have the options even if they think it in their minds your life tells me you don't have the option because if you had the option your ass wouldn't be out there on the street down there begging people for change right now you wouldn't be out there talking living with your mom and talking about some Hey, I just need a little help. Why? Because there'd be a man out there just dropping money on you with no with no incentive. He he just because that's what they look at. They see all these guys with all this money and can pipe them down. But when it's time when the real quick, I know I just want to ask him. So you say we need to de incentivize divorce. You know, in uh, the Philippines, all nations in the country, all countries in the world allow for divorce except for the Philippines. It's illegal to get a divorce in the Philippines. Uh, I think Sri Lanka and Vietnam has the lowest divorce rates in the world. Would you change the divorce laws? Is that what you're saying, Sweeney? You'd yeah. say you just can't just wake up one day and say, I'm not, I'm not happy and divorce the motherfucker. You get rid of that? Oh, man, there's a lot of shit I would do. I would. There's so many like I would even I would de I would. I would change it to where a lot of things you don't have access to unless you are married. And even if you are like, you know what I mean? Because not only do we have to de-incentivize divorce, we have to de-incentivize being single and single parents. Because that's another thing that a lot of women are incentivized to do. Because you don't really need the man. Why? Because without the man, you can still have access to any, you know what I mean? A lot of forms of help. You have access to um, child support enforcement. You know that that shit didn't used to exist. Oh shit! Hold on. So, so I touched on it a little bit when I said, um, like um, Ron DeSantis, what he did when he eliminated permanent alimony in Florida. That's the direction we need to go in, where we de-incentivize divorce right because it's horribly skewed in the favor of women as it is in this point so it's actually better or easier for them to be able to survive on their own than it is without you so if we go in that direction that would absolutely decrease the divorce rates because when you're looking at the percentage of women we all know it's like what between 70 80 percent and they say 90 percent if you're college educated women are leaving because it's easy it's not easy for us we have to have a serious issue, right? For a, for a man to decide, hey, I'm going to leave. Women know it's easy because their life might just be better without you because you're going to continue to provide service to her, whereas she is completely relinquished of all responsibility. She don't have to do anything. Well, everything that you used to get from your wife, 
when she was married is eliminated. But they see it necessary for us to continue to provide our services. What about what it was that we got used to as men? Right? Why is all of that stripped from us? But we are required to still mind you for the rest you of your some, life. You want, some, you, want some, you want some alimony pussy? I see what you're saying. I got something. You. Something. <laughs> you, you should, but when you think about it, you're no longer required to provide any services. Nothing. Nothing. Whatever it is that you used to do that I got used to, that I have to source somewhere else right now, I no longer have access to. Right? So for me to have to pay you in full for zero service is absurd to me. Yeah, I think I should. I, have, I came up with a law where I said, shoot, um, what did I say? I, I, I alluded to the fact that you shouldn't get any sort of um, financial benefits unless you're married. You shouldn't get you shouldn't even get um, you shouldn't get a uh, child support enforcement unless you were married. And then, you know, what I mean? because obviously people will get divorced and we, we do need to protect to a certain degree. But I think also we 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 incentivize being single as well a lot uh, more so than we actually incentivize divorce because people aren't even getting Ooh. You know what I mean? Like we you saying so no baby mama, no baby mama child support, only ex-wife child support. Right. Because yo, so we can't penalize people into marriage. Like I, I, I hear what we're saying, and I get where we're coming from, but you're not gonna penalize people into marriage. Like I think we we gotta get away from this. The 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 second thing is marriage should absolutely be incentivized. Uh, brother, Sh listen, now, brother Sweeney, brother Shan is one of the most meticulous and well-spoken men. He is a, a he is a cerebral, but he backed you into a corner, man, and made you say that marriage should not be incentivized when it absolutely should be. Listen, just, if, 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 if Shan is good for this, he's one of the smartest brothers. Listen, if you are going to lay down your life for a wife. And every man who knows what it means to be a man knows that it's all or nothing. Like you don't get to be kind of married or partially married. It's all in with your wife. It's all in with your kids. Wow, you're all in on your business, all in on your success, building your legacy. If you have to be responsible and shoulder the pressure of being married and being this woman's covering and being the protector, and I don't just mean the physical protector because when we talk about that, we typically only stay in the physical realm. I'm talking about a, a, a husband protects his wife emotionally. This is why there are certain things and pressures we don't share with her because we don't want her to become emotionally overwhelmed. If you are a spiritual man, you protect her spiritually. You protect her financially. This is why you have all the insurance and you have backups and emergency funds. So when we talk about all of the stuff that men provide and what we bring, a woman should absolutely be focused on making herself the most viable candidate for a man. There should be an incentive because what monogamy and marriage says is she's going to be in a position to handle all of my needs. This means sexually. This means socially. This means when it comes to loyalty and family. So there should be some incentives. And us men, we got to start letting our balls swing a little bit because a lot of times we get we get put into a corner feeling like we have to bring all of this we give so much and ask so little. And I think we have to switch that. I think you get the best out of a wife when you have standards and you make her live up to the standards you have. I believe that marriage should be incentivized. I'm sorry. Hey, right. No, no, no. Put I, this message. I was going to say, I didn't say that it shouldn't be incentivized. I said, how do you incentivize something we already know? Change it. I said, because I said, I'm going to tell you what you said. You said, you said, Shane, you were right about it, brother. You absolutely right, brother. What did it I say next? Yeah. That's what you said. I said, what what you how do you tell some, I said, how do you tell somebody we already know the benefits of marriage? We know those things. So how do you incentivize people to get married? That means there must be something on the back end that's beneficial to us to get married. And that's why I was like, we already I, know. I can't, let you do it, I can't let you do it. I'm holding you responsible. I mean, you can roll back the clip. You said we should de incentivize divorce. Yes. And then you said we should make a, a singlehood. Uh, we should de incentivize that because we Absolutely. make 
we give more incentives to that. So that's why I said what we're doing is we're essentially penalizing being single and divorced uh-huh. as a way to bolster marriage. How about we just do this? How about we teach women to not be whores and how to appreciate men? If we can start there, We've I think we can start having that. an effective conversation. 